One of the biggest problems I see job seekers make with their resume work experience is filling this section primarily with job duties and responsibilities. Now this is understandable because this is how most people are taught to write their resume. They simply describe what they have done at current and previous employers. The reason why this is a problem though is that job duties and responsibilities will neither make you stand out nor demonstrate how strong you are, leading to mediocre results and interview rates. The solution, you have to make your work experience achievement centric. There's really nothing significant about one's job duties because when you think about it, everyone is supposed to do them anyway. What truly separates an attention grabbing resume from just average CVs are the accomplishments and the results that you produced. In this video, I'm going to teach you three questions you can ask yourself to help you identify your accomplishments so that you can draft truly results oriented work experience and make the employer excited to meet you. Here we go. Question number one, what did you achieve or how did your work stand out? As I mentioned, simply listing what you have done doesn't carry much impact because everyone in the same job would have done the same or similar work. What will separate you from the competition is the difference you made with your work. Here's an example of a job duty centric sentence, which is what you do not want to do. Conducted daily sales and marketing tasks, including lead generation, sales calls, and follow up. There's nothing special or impressive about it. Again, anyone with the same job would have probably done the identical set of tasks, right? If you want to stand out and grab the employer's attention, you need to discuss the achievements you made. Let's say the result of your work was consistently exceeding the sales target. In such a case, you can write consistently exceeded the sales target through disciplined sales practices, including lead generation, qualifying clients, product pitching, and follow up. What you have achieved is that you exceeded your sales target over and over again, which is much more powerful than merely going through the motion. But you may ask, what if I haven't achieved anything? I didn't exceed my targets or there was no target. Can I still write result driven experience? The answer is absolutely. In that case, the question we need to ask is, how did your work stand out? Let's say you didn't exceed any target, but instead you met over 95% of weekly sales KPIs during your stay. That is still much more meaningful than simply listing out what you did. You can write something like this. Achieved over 95% of weekly sales KPIs, including lead generation, sales calls, and follow-up. Here's another example of a duty-driven work experience. Managed a multi-year regional e-commerce program while working closely with the product team and stakeholders. Though at first it may sound like important work, again, managing large programs and working with stakeholders is what any worthwhile program managers would need to do, leaving us with nothing outstanding about this experience. So instead, let's ask the question, what did you achieve? Let's say the program was successfully delivered. Now we can say successfully delivered and managed a multi-year regional e-commerce program on time while working closely with the product team and stakeholders. Let's look at another example. Provided detailed, accurate, and timely status updates to key stakeholders throughout the program duration. As positive as it may sound, this is not what we're looking for because it is simply a job duty. Instead, let's say that the stakeholders were really happy with the quality of your status updates and provided positive feedback throughout the program duration. This is how your work stands out. Then you can write your experience like this. Consistently obtained positive feedback from key stakeholders and users by providing detailed, accurate, and timely status updates throughout the program program duration. Sometimes I hear job seekers saying that they don't really accomplish anything because all they did was facilitating or helping someone else, for example, their clients. Often people who work in consulting struggle with this issue. In such a case, helping your client produce results is precisely your accomplishment. Whether it be helping them to launch a product, increase your revenue, or meet some other goals, that is what you need to emphasize in your CV. Here's an ordinary, no impact example. Assisted in project delivery by pinpointing bottlenecks and resolving inner team communication issues for the client. And here's a much better version. Enable the client to successfully launch their flagship product without delay by pinpointing potential project bottlenecks and resolving inner team communication issues. Let's just look at one more example. Instead of saying provided intuitive and automated accounting solutions to a client or different department, you want to write 
provided intuitive and automated accounting solutions to client, resulting in manual process elimination and faster quarterly annual report generation. Number two, the next question you need to answer is by how much? In other words, indicate the numbers and figures of your results or contribution. By including numbers and stats, your story and your achievement become that much more concrete and convincing. To illustrate, going back to our earlier example, consistently exceeded the sales target through disciplined sales practices, including lead generation, qualifying clients, product pitching, and follow-up. Now, by how much or by what percent did you exceed the sales target? And let's say the answer is 10 to 20% every year in the last two years. Now we can say consistently exceeded the sales target by 10 to 20% in the last three years through disciplined sales practices, including lead generation, client qualification, product pitching, and active follow-up. In our other earlier example, provided intuitive and automated accounting solutions to the client, resulting in faster quarterly slash annual report generation and manual process elimination. The questions we can ask are, how much faster was report generation and by how much were the manual processes reduced? And then we can rewrite it in this way. Provided intuitive and automated accounting solutions to the client, resulting in eliminating 75% of manual processes and 50% faster quarterly slash annual report generation. You can see how big of a difference it makes in terms of the impact. Even in situations where it's not immediately obvious how to quantify results, we can still use numbers. For example, en enable the client to successfully launch their flagship product without delay by pinpointing potential project bottlenecks and resolving inner team communication issues. We can make this more convincing as follows. Enable the client to launch their flagship product without delay by pinpointing over 20 potential project bottlenecks and resolving inner team communication issues involving seven countries slash regions. Here is the last one. Consistently obtain positive feedback from key stakeholders and users by providing detailed, accurate, and timely status updates throughout the program duration. You can potentially rewrite it by adding the duration over which you had consistent positive feedback like this. Consistently achieve positive feedback from key stakeholders and the product team over the entire program duration of 12 months by providing detailed, accurate, and timely status updates. Before our last point, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean so much and be a huge help in creating more free content like this one. Thanks so much. Number three, what was the significance? Now, if you take care of the first two questions, which are what did you achieve and by how much, you will likely already have a respectable work experience section that is better than most job seekers out there. But this last question, what was the significance, will truly take your profile to the next level and make you stand out. The main reason why this question has such a huge impact is because often the reader has little idea about just how meaningful your achievement was. Again, let's use one of our earlier examples. Achieved over 95% of weekly sales KPIs, including the generation, sales calls, and follow-up through, throughout the year. As much as it sounds like you're a disciplined, hardworking person, we also have no idea how difficult the KPIs were and how you fared compared to the rest of the team. If 80% of your team achieved the same result, obviously it's not going to be as meaningful. Whereas if only 5% of the team achieved it, it'll be a completely different story. Let's say that in our case, only two people out of a 30 people team achieved 95% or higher rate. Then you may want to write, achieved over 95% of weekly sales KPI target, including lead generation, sales calls, and active follow-up. And then less than 10% of the team achieved this result. This provides a much more concrete and attractive context for your achievement. Here's one more example. Helped client stakeholders or team increase their e-commerce engagement by 30% through data-driven advertisement and A-B testing. This time, for example, let's say that your work led to the highest amount of user engagement to date. You should say, help client, stakeholders, or team increase their e-commerce engagement by 30% through data-driven advertisement and A-B testing. This was the highest amount of user engagement for the client to date. By answering these three questions, 
What did you achieve by how much and what was the significance? You can immediately and without any doubt communicate the most impactful and impressive details of your work experience. This is precisely how you convince hiring managers through your resume and consistently get results leading to more first interviews. If there was one resume section that is as important as work experience, it would be the professional summary. This is a prime real estate of your CV and needs to be both succinct and full of impact. If you wanna learn how to write this kind of resume summary, click the video on the screen right now. Until then, wish you all the very best with your job search.